Hello and welcome everyone to my elusive there is guide. So this guide is pretty simple because the deck itself to play it I don't feel like it's too complicated compared to some other decks. So basically to keep it short you want to play on curve. Tip number one in your mulligan you want to keep usually every single time only units. Straight up, you want one one drop, you want either Pressed Pet or Sabatu, you want a one two drop, you want Ballista and a Basilisk Rider, and hopefully Vi as well. Keeping Vi in your opening hand is usually really important because of the fact that one of your ways of winning and finishing up a game is just the Vi with either the map, so you attack with her being elusive. If you do not have straight up curve from one to five, then on turn 5, most likely you're gonna play Vi with the map and straight up turn 5 do 7 or 8 or 6 damage to the enemy Nexus. Um, you can also use Might, but you're not gonna use it on turn 5 because that would basically mean that you have 3 mana saved up and that usually doesn't happen too often. But either way, um, so all the one drops pretty all the straight up one drops are the strongest one drops in the game from noxus so that's pretty simple uh the two drops if you have the monolith disciple together in your opening hand then that's great right but if you do not have disciple in your hand you never keep the monolith in your opening hand it's the worst idea ever considering the one drops have only one hp so you cannot use it on them um, keeping the Disciple Grenadier is one of the two drops that you want to keep. Ballista is obviously your only three drops, so that you want to really keep that in hand. Basilisk Rider, you only keep it in hand if you do have like a one and two drop. So like if you have a one and two drop, Basilisk Rider is great, right? If you have a one drop and a three drop, Basilisk Rider, you still keep it in hand. Sounds good, right? But if you only have one one drop, no two drop, no three drop. Then um, I'm not sure if keeping a bastard stride is that good of an idea. So basically, you want to have the best curve at, that you can have, but like you also want to have the presence early board on early on the board. So basically, um, excuse me. So you want to have a one drop and a two drop to create early presence on the board and create pressure. So if you do not have a 1-drop or do not have a 2-drop, then you're not creating pressure. So keeping a 4-drop or like something like that is not the best idea if you do not have anything on the early game. So you want to have pr pressure and just create a damage so you can have Darius leveled up the moment you play him, the moment you attack with him rather than play him if you're attacking for example on turn 7 you can play him on turn 6 right but you want to have him leveled up when you attack on turn 7 and basically you want to close out the game by turn 10 for sure because it's a straight up aggro deck even though it's like a mid-range aggro deck but usually if you have Farron you can still win the game even if it's on turn 10 or something so the, the finishers are Vi with the map Live with, with Might. Elixir is there just to level up Darius or just uh, sometimes you even value trade with it. But usually it's the surprise the opponent as well, just because nobody plays this card anymore. It's just a one off, anyways. I was considering having three Might, but I just felt like Elixir could do some good work considering you have Iron Ballista as overall unit. You have Bastard Shredder as overall unit, you have Farron as overall unit, you have Darius as overall unit. You get the idea, right? If they're all overwhelmed, you just put the Elixir on it. And it's great. It works. It's just one mana, three damage most of the time. And so yeah. Vi is a finisher with map and, and might. Darius is as a finisher. Decisive Maneuver is amazing at this deck considering how many overwhelm units you have. So you usually want to use it on a blocker. So if an overwhelm unit attacks, you know the drill, right? You use maneuver on the blocker, the blocker does not defend anymore, so the overwhelm unit does full damage and gets plus to attack. I mean, all of your units gets plus to attack, but basically, imagine you play it on a Darius, right? You remove the blocker, Darius is doing 12 damage by itself. 
one unit, 12 damage to the Nexus. So that's the idea of the deck, straight up Nexus damage with Overwhelm units and Elusiveness. And why I feel like this is a great deck right now, as I said in the guide, nobody's playing Ionia. Ionia got straight up nerfed, the core cards of the package got nerfed, so there's nobody pretty much playing Elusive units, so with the map, almost every match you're just doing the Nexus damage. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any more questions about it, you can feel free to ask me on my Discord or Twitch or anywhere. But yeah, I just wanted to keep it simple. That's it for today for this guide and see you guys.